All right, you guys, so don't check out how to use the new video generator in Adobe Firefly. So in this video, basically, I'm going to show you the strengths of Adobe Firefly AI generator, how to generate crazy typography and logos or other special effects. The new Firefly video generator is amazing. What can I say? But it has its own downsides. So when you generate a new video, you're going to need to wait a couple of minutes because it's generating a five second video on 24 frames per second, which is 120 frames. So check this out, this is the Adobe Firefly plan. So you get the Firefly standard at 10 bucks, where you can generate 2000 images a month. Now this number doesn't include the videos. The videos, you got it right here, generate 20 five second videos. So you can generate 20 videos only. Then you got Firefly Pro at 30 bucks, you can generate 7000 images and 70 videos. And up at least Firefly Premium, $200 a month, 50k image generations, and you get 500 video generations. Now before we jump in, take that in mind, the prompts I'm going to use might work only 50% of the time for you, because this is AI and it's not a stable software. Alright, so let's go to Firefly, and here we got the image. All you need to do is change it to video, and click on generate. And as you can see, the generative video is way simpler than the generative image. So here you can change the aspect ratio to widescreen or vertical. Then you get the frame per second, camera shot size. These are basically prompts that you can select how the camera is going to render the image. And now, but least you got the motion. You got a couple of camera movements, zoom in, zoom out, move left and right, and so on and so forth. And then here you can type in the prompt, but check this out. Here you can upload your frame, basically the image that you want to recreate it in video. So first I'm going to need an image that I'm going to generate in the image generator in Firefly. So I'm going to go back on the first page. I'm going to select image, click on generate. Let's go to aspect ratio, change it to widescreen, content type photo. And here I'm going to upload the reference image, which is going to be this extruded W. Click on upload image, select it, click on open and increase the strength. I'm also going to scroll down. I'm going to go to the lighting, select studio light, hyper realistic. And I'm going to go to the themes, select the 3D. And I'm going to go to the prompts and type in 3D extruded glass text polished floating isolated on white background. Click enter to generate and here we get the first results. And I'm going to go with this image as a reference. I'm going to download it. And now let's go back to Firefly video generator. And let's go to frame, upload, and I'm going to select the glass image. Click on open. And I can go to the prompt, type in Small pink dahlia flowers are growing around of the 3D extruded glass text from behind of the 3D extruded glass text in a decorated style. So this is basically what worked for me. I also tried to simplify it, but it didn't work in a simplified way. So let's hope that this one is going to work out. Finally, it rendered. Let's see what we got. And wow. All right. So I forgot to select a prompt from here. I want to go with the static because last time this is what it worked. So I'm going to consume another precious generation. Click on generate. And let's see what we got now. Oh, wow. So basically it does the same thing again. When I tried this at the beginning, it worked great. And now I use the same prompts and it doesn't do the same thing. You also can upload the first frame and the ending frame, like in what it is going to transform in an animation. So for example, I'm going to go back to Firefly and I'm going to go to the prompt and I'm going to type in roses growing inside of the text. I'm thinking to go with this one. I'm going to download it. Let's go back to video generator and let's go to the end frame, click on upload and I'm going to select the letter with the roses, open and I'm also going to modify the prompt now with the prompt that I used in the image generator and click on generate. All right, so let's see what we got. Click on play. Oh, wow. That looks really damn good. And this was it. Pretty much this is how you use the AI video generator here in Firefly and see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.